Cycle three, week one, hands-on science. We're gonna do an experiment today called blinking. So we're going to be testing how our eyes see moving images. So we're thinking about our eyes. So what kind of questions might you have? Maybe we think about how our eyes work. Do you know anything about how your eyes work? What have you learned before? Have you ever read a book about eyes? What do you know about eyes? Have you ever learned about optical illusions or seen any books on optical illusions where a picture might look one way until you look at it a little differently and it looks another way? We're going to be looking at some optical illusions today. So what do we need to learn more about if we're going to be thinking about tricking our eyes? Maybe about nerves? and about how nerves, sends mess, send, me, nerves send messages to our brain. And maybe we might learn about different parts of our eyes. There's lots of things we could learn today about eyes. So to do our first um, little treat will actually be holding a pencil. If you hold it very close to the eraser, and I'm holding it loosely, see how it's falling in my hands? Okay, so if you hold it loosely and start lifting it up and down, and if you look at it closely, just going up and down, it starts on the end here, it starts to look like it's rubber. Do you see that? Let me put it against my black shirt. Does it look like I'm bouncing a piece of rubber? What? That's just a hard pencil, right? It's a hard pencil. But when I shake it like this, our eyes just can't keep up with the movement, and so it starts to look like a piece of rubber. That's crazy. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we have some faces and some uh, pieces of paper we need to cut out. So I'm gonna cut out two strips, two strips of paper. So these are trash. I'm going to cut down the middle. So now I have two identical pieces of a face. So they're faces. Can you see that? They're faces. So I'm going to draw a face on one of them, okay? Just on one. Let's see. I'm going to give them some hair and I'm going to give them some eyes eyelashes, a nose, and a big old smile. Okay, and now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to line this up so I can actually trace. Okay, so see, I can still see through my guy. And so I'm going to give him his hair. I'm going to give him one eye. But guys, on the other eye, I want the other eye to look like it's blinking. So I'm going to do kind of like a little frowny face with eyelashes. Does that look like it's blinking? There's my nose and my smile. So now I have two pictures that look just alike, except the one is blinking. <clears throat> and now I need some tape. And I'm going to tape this down to the table. So this is going to be upside down for you, but you'll still get it. Um, taping that one down to the table and this one I'm gonna tape the top of hopefully it'll stick to my tablecloth here all right and then I'm gonna roll a pencil up in that top piece of paper so the bottom piece of paper is taped down but I'm gonna start rolling and I think a little piece of tape on there to keep it still will help. Okay, so I tape that top piece and I'm going to roll. Whoa, it looks like he's blinking. If I go really fast, can you see that it looks like he's blinking? Whoa, so cool. That is so cool. So what did we just do there to observe, like, let's talk through, like, what we did just now. 
we cut out our paper, we made our, our pictures, and we taped it to the table, and then we rolled it back and forth and tricked our eyes, didn't we? And what, did it, what happened on the paper? What did it look like it was doing? It was blinking, right? <clears throat> so there's another thing that we can do, another little trick. These are called thumatropes. And tutors, these will be kind of spread out over another area that you can move kids to to check out. So guys, on one side I've got a helicopter, on the other side is a little birdie. When I hold it firmly with my left non-dominant hand and my dominant hand starts to twist up one side and I can go back and forth, watch what happens. Where's the birdie now? It might take some practice. It's been a few days since I've done this. There it is. <gasps> the birdie's in the helicopter. What? Amazing. That's another trick of the eye. It's just that our eyes can't keep up with the change. It sees the two pictures and it can't distinguish between the two the faster it goes. So our eye thinks it's just one image. Let's check out another one. Here's one that's on a pencil. So on one side we have a duck, on the other side we have some water and some reeds. So if I put it in my hands, I'm going to put it towards the ends of my hands and I'm just going to back and forth. Do you see that duck is in the reeds now? Whoa! That is so neat! So I've got a whole bag full of these thumatropes that you guys um, at CC can check out. And if you're at home, you can go Google Thumatropes, um, which is spelled T-H-A-U-M-A-T-R-O-P-E, and you can make one yourself very easily. So in conclusion for week one, blinking, did you know how the first cartoons were made? Each movement of a character was hand-drawn on a new clear sheet and a photo was taken of it. When all the photos were flipped through at a fast enough speed, the characters looked like they moved magically. But did they? Our brains know that they didn't, but our eyes say, yes, the movement is actually an optical illusion, which is just a trick our eyes play on us. It's called persistence of vision. And it means that whatever your eye sees persists or stays on your retina for a little longer than it's actually there. 1 16th of a second to be precise. So when you roll your paper up and down fast enough, you continue to see the face. The outline of the face persists and the eye looks like it's winking. The two faces actually blend into just one image and that's the information your eyes send to your brain. And how does it send that information? Through your nervous system which is made up of your nerves, your spinal cord, and your brain. Anything you sense with your five senses, from sight to touch, sound and smell, travels along a pathway of nerves leading up your spinal cord and into your brain. Next time you take a video or watch your favorite show, think about your nerves and your brain. <laughs>